so i'm sure you guys noticed the trouser wasn't sizing me so it's still my size but it's just about three four inches tighter so but we don't have to do anything to it because it's stretchy if it's not stretchy i have another tutorial on how to put um rubber pants on the west side without having to do too much i will upload it after this video or before this video i'll be sure to leave the link in the description box down below so you just have to do is make sure to remove um to loosen out the same area of the inner parts of the trouser the both parts actually of the trouser make sure you lose everything completely except the sides so here we are this is this you can do this afterwards but I just love to do it at once So like I said, you can remove the threads after your true sewing, but I love to remove it so that it won't give me problem when sewing. So now you want to turn it and you see that part there. This part is usually the lap area. It's called lap in tailoring. I don't know what it's called, but it's like the under part, right? So now you want to take your ruler and make a straight line. So at this part we'll be cutting it out now the back is usually a lot more bigger than the front so i draw it straight and of course you take it to your sewing machine and sew it straight after then you cut out the um excess material so i just i don't know what this is called i think it's snip or something so I just take that so that this way that this part that I just showed you guys will be straight. I don't know if you notice. So make sure it's straight then to the front. Now to make that part, depending on how long you want or how short you want your cut out to be. I normally like to do my cut out on the right side of my leg because when I snap because I love to bring out my right side my leg so if you want you can do your left side but just do whatever works for you so you can do 10 inches you can do 7 inches from your waist down to the place you want like i said depending on how cut out you want it to be now then from the middle to this place should be at least 3 inches to 2.5 inches when cutting this part out don't forget to cuff your hands if you don't get it go back again there's no mistake in um fashion there's no mistake in tailoring you can always go back or just make it work or you take a cuff ruler and use it to cuff it but because i know how to do this so it's quite simple for me to freestyle then after which you loosen that part out as well the other sides out that that will just be the back and half of the front right so i cleaned it and i went ahead to sew these parts down all right guys don't forget to like comment share subscribe i mean like i said this is a very fast and simple video this it, this took me less than five minutes and this is because i've done something like this before and like i said i'll put the video up don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you get to be notified whenever i drop that video or any other video so i just wanted this down part to be like a crazy chain effect so this is why i'm removing some shirts out if you want you can just fold in yours and just so it's like fold twice and so and if you want you can do something like this you can use pin for this you can use 
scissors for this but i'm using pink because like i said this is a stretchy jean material so if i decide to use scissors i might or i would definitely make mistakes to like excess of it and because the skirt is not that long or rather the jean trouser was not that long anyways guys see you next time bye